Often in a general chemistry class, you might have a quiz or an exam question that gives you an equation like this and tells you to balance it in either an acidic or basic solution. There's a different set of rules to do each of these that you usually learn, but this is another thing that you can do with the algebraic method. So I'm going to teach you today how to balance an equation in a basic solution. So the first thing you're going to do when you're told to balance in a basic solution is you're going to add hydroxide ions to the left and water to the right. So let's go ahead and add our variables in front and add the hydroxide and water. So we have A, C, L, O minus plus B, C, R, O, H, four minus plus C, O, H minus yields D, C, R, O4 2 minus plus E C L minus plus F H2 O. And since we have six variables but only four unique elements, we're not going to be able to solve this using our normal chemical balance equations. We're going to have to have the charge and the redox equations as well. So let's go ahead and add the oxidation states to each molecule. So we'll start here with A molecule. O is usually in a minus two state. We have a charge of minus one for the overall molecule, so that means our chlorine has to be plus one. In the B molecule, we have hydrogen is a plus one, oxygen a minus two. So that makes a minus one total times four, so minus four. So to get a minus one for the entire B molecule, that means chromium has to be in the plus three state. Our hydroxide, we have a plus one for hydrogen and a minus two for oxygen. Minus two for oxygen in the D molecule. We have four of those, so that's minus eight. So that means chromium has to be in the plus six state. Chlorine, minus one. Oxygen, minus two hydrogen plus one. So let's go ahead and write out our equations. So we'll start with chlorine. We have one chlorine in the A molecule and we have one chlorine in the E. For oxygen, we have one oxygen in the A plus four oxygens in the B, plus one in the C, looks like we have four D, and one in the F. For chromium, we have one chromium in the B equals one chromium in the D. For hydrogen, Looks like we have four hydrogens in the B molecule, plus one in the C, plus two in the F. All right, so now we can do our charge equation. So, so let's see, our A molecule has a negative one charge. Our B molecule has a negative one charge. Our C molecule has a negative one charge. Our D molecule has a negative two charge, so negative two D. And our E molecule has a negative one charge and our water is neutral. So now we can do our redox equations. We've got oxidation on the reactant side is equal to reduction on the reactant side is equal to oxidation on the product side is equal to reduction on the product side. So let's look at our oxidation states. What is being oxidized going from left to right? So we have chromium in the plus three state going to the plus six state. So that is an oxidation of three. And it's in the B molecule and we only have one chromium. So what's being reduced? We've got chlorine going from a plus one to a minus one. So that's a reduction of two. It's in the A molecule and there's only one of those as well. 
So now let's look at the reaction in reverse. We've got chromium going from a plus six to a plus three, so that's reduction. We've got chlorine going from a minus one to a plus one, so chlorine is being oxidized by two, so two E, and there's only one chlorine. And reduction going from right to left, like we just said. We have chromium going from a plus six to a plus three, so that's a reduction of three. And it's in the D molecule, and there's only one of them. So now we have our equation, so we should be able to solve everything. So let's see what we get. We can start by letting A equal 1, just arbitrarily. So if A equals 1, then E also equals 1 from our chlorine equation. Now we can go down to our redox equations to solve for B and D. So 2A equals 3B. If A is 1, then we have 2 equals 3B. We can divide both sides by 3, so we have 2 thirds equals B. And we see from our chromium equation that B equals D. So if B is 2 thirds, then D is also 2 thirds. And now we can use our charge equation to solve for C. So let's copy down our charge equation. We have minus A minus B minus C equals minus 2D minus E. So the first thing we need to do is get C by itself. So let's add C to both sides. So we've got minus A minus B equals C minus 2D minus E. And now we can add 2D plus E to both sides. So we have 2D plus E minus a minus b equals c. And so now we can plug in what we know and solve for c. So d is equal to 2 thirds, so we have 2 times 2 thirds is 4 thirds, plus e is 1, minus a, which is 1, minus b, which is 2 thirds, equals C. So the plus one and the minus one will just cancel out. So we have four thirds minus two thirds. So we have C is equal to two thirds. And now it looks like we can use our hydrogen equation to solve for F. So we have two F equals four B plus C. So B is two thirds. So we have four times two thirds is eight thirds, plus C, which is two thirds, equals 10 thirds. So now we can divide both sides by two. So we have F is equal to 10 over six, which will simplify to five thirds. So since we have fractions, we want to simplify that now. It's always nice to use the smallest possible integers for your balanced chemical equation. So our largest denominator is a 3. So we're going to multiply each of our variables by 3. So we'll come over here. We've got a equals 3 times 1, so 3. b equals 2 thirds times 3, so 2. C is also 2 thirds times 3, so 2. D, also 2 thirds times 3, so 2. E is 1 times 3, so 3. And F is 5 thirds times 3, so 5. All right, so let's scroll down and plug in our variables and see if everything makes sense. So we have 3 ClO minus plus 2 CrOH 4 minus plus 2 OH minus yields 2 CrO4 
2 minus plus 3 CL minus plus 5 H2O. All right, so let's see if everything is balanced. So let's see, chlorines, we have three chlorines on the left equals three chlorines on the right. Oxygen, we have three in the A molecule plus two times four is eight in the B molecule plus two in the C molecule is equal to four times two, eight plus five oxygens in the water molecule. So three plus eight plus two, that's 13, equals 13, so that's balanced. Chromium, we have two chromiums on the left is equal to two chromiums on the right. Hydrogen, we have four times two, eight hydrogen plus two hydrogen is equal to five times two is 10 hydrogen. So eight plus two is 10 equals 10. So all four of our elements are balanced. Our equation is balanced and we were able to do this using the algebraic method.